Hello, I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com. So far in this series, we have discussed our goal of sharing with you tricks and tips for converting a conventional beer recipe to gluten-free or designing a new gluten-free beer recipe. In our last episode, we reviewed some important terms that came up after we shared our malt chart. In today's episode, we want to get into some of the challenges of designing a gluten-free beer recipe. And the first place we're going to start is to discuss the seemingly infinite number of conventional malts. During a quick Google search, we found a spreadsheet titled The Complete List of Every Malted Barley on Earth, and it contained 303 barley malts. In comparison, we currently carry two dozen varieties of gluten-free malts. So without even going too far into this discussion, there are far more barley malts than there are gluten-free malts. With so many barley malts, you might be thinking, how can we possibly convert an existing recipe to gluten-free? First of all, there are some redundant malts because there are multiple producers of barley malts. Each company has their own version of base, color, crystal, roasted, and specialty malts. There were 83 types of base malts alone and a dozen producers of malts represented on this list. And while there may be some similarities, there are also some differences. Some subtle and some significant. And the best place to learn uh, about these differences is the manufacturer's malt profile preferably from the manufacturer's own websites. I learn best by doing. You can tell me something a dozen times or show me once. So we're just going to start to convert a recipe together. And what better way to convert a, a recipe with fall approaching than um, with a roasted pumpkin beer recipe from the EC Krauss blog. We're going to share that recipe with you now. If you're following us on uh, YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to jump over to our blog to, to check out the recipe. And when we get back together for our next episode, we're going to actually go into how we're substituting out the malt, why we chose that substitution, and discuss everything else that comes up during the conversion of that recipe. Thank you for watching. I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com. During these takes, I've uh, drank half my beer here. I was going to promo our uh, Oktoberfest, but um, it's half gone. So, um, cheers.